So you know the importance of building up your list and you maybe already watched one of our other videos on how to create an irresistible lead magnet, but now you have to actually <laughs> create a form where people can grab that lead magnet and you're feeling a little bit stuck. Creating a lead magnet funnel can be a little bit confusing, but it does not have to be hard. And actually through FG Funnels, it is super easy. And I'm gonna show you just how easy it is right now. I am Kathy Olson of Funnel Gorgeous and let's dive in to how to create a lead magnet funnel in just a few minutes. So the first thing that you want to do when you're building a lead funnel is you're going to want to create that opt-in form. So we are going to go over to marketing and form builder and we are going to create a new form. It's incredibly important that you name your forms with good naming conventions. Things are going to get super confusing, <laughs> super fast. So what we're going to do for the sake of an opt-in, you're just going to need first name and email. And that's pretty much it. <laughs> and we're going to do a button. So this is your basic opt-in form. Pretty simple. We're going to go over to styles and on styles, you can hide the labels if you want. You can change the background color to anything that you want it to be. If you have certain color codes, you can type them in here. You can also use RGBA or the traditional hex codes in the styles, okay? And then the last thing you're gonna do is options. So here is where you want your naming conventions to be very, very clear. Now this is a lead form, an opt-in form, but what is it for? I'm gonna call it opt-in launch calendar PDF. Every time I'm gonna make an opt-in form, I'm gonna call it opt-in and then I'm gonna label what it is. Now here you have basically a choice. You can either make it so that when they hit this button, it opens a URL like a thank you page, right? Or sends them somewhere else. Or you can have it just simply say, thank you, please check your inbox. So you can decide it's really a matter of choice. All right, so we're gonna hit save and then integrate form. Now, the reason I'm saying this is if for any reason you have to put this form somewhere besides FG Funnels, you can actually do this embed, or you can go ahead and grab a link and it's going to pull them just on this basic form. The second thing is you need to make sure you have a lead magnet, <laughs> all right? So this, we're not gonna go through everything there is to, to make a lead magnet, but I will say that if you go to funnelgorgeous.com and you look at any of our beautiful designs, you can see that we offer lead magnet templates right here. So if you scroll down, this lead magnet template is made in Canva, Adobe Illustrator, and Photoshop, and it's beautiful and professional and will allow you to make PDFs pretty quickly. Now we're going to go in and we're going to create the two-page funnel. So we're going to go to funnels and we're going to click on new funnel. I'm going to call it lead funnel launch calendar PDF. And we're going to add the first form, which is the opt-in form. This is where you get that information. Now this is the path. This means whatever your domain is going to be right? Let's say it's, you know, juliestoyan.com. What is the path to get to this opt-in funnel? And I'm going to say juliestoyan.com slash launch calendar. When you're putting in paths, do not put in spaces, okay? If you need spaces, if you absolutely need spaces, you can do dashes, you can do underscores, or you can just keep it all one. We are going to add an image and a form. This is gonna pop up and say, hey, what form do you wanna use? Well, the good news is that you have clearly labeled your form, and so we're gonna go ahead and pull that in. Here we go, it's, it's pretty basic. Now, I think I want a little copy up here that really like encourages them. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. I'm gonna use the little cross arrows to pull it up here. And I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna throw a couple little emojis on there. And there we go, there's my opt-in, super easy. The last thing you wanna do is create a footer. All right, our basic opt-in form is done, but there's a couple things that I wanna point out. The first is I haven't really saved yet, so I should definitely save. Now, if this is the first time you're saving, it's gonna ask for what the title of the page is. So I'm gonna call it Launch Calendar PDF. This is just a little description, simple to use calendar, and that's how it's gonna appear on social media. All right, so there's some SEO stuff we're gonna just add. Now, if for any reason you can't find it, it's always over here under SEO metadata and you can always update it. So the next thing we wanna do is we wanna look at this and say, okay, there's a couple things I have to do. I have to hook this up, I have to hook up links to this, definitely have to make this form go somewhere. But one thing that lots of people forget all the time is mobile. So we wanna look at it on mobile and this looks okay, but I'm gonna actually change the mobile font size so that it doesn't look so ridiculous. Now, I don't know that I really want this on mobile, 
because it just looks kind of silly to me. I mean, it's just, it's way too big. So I'm going to actually turn it off, all right? And there is a way to do this, and you're gonna go to Advanced, and we are going to turn it off mobile. So I clicked on it, and boom it disappears. There are a lot of settings here and we can go through all of these settings at another time, but right now we're just trying to get you a basic lead funnel. All right, so we've done the first page, the opt-in page. Now we're gonna do the thank you page for your redirect of what's gonna happen next. You can use the action that you created in the builder or you can choose to go to a website URL or you can choose to go to the next step in the funnel. And I think that's what we're gonna do. Now I realize here that I put button. I didn't actually put a nice call to action. So I'm gonna have to go change that, but I can't change it here. I have to go back into the form builder to change it. Now there are a bunch of other things in the editor that we can do, but I'm just showing you the basics for the lead funnel. Please, please make sure to save and preview. It's also important to make sure that you do not have this open in more than one window and you don't leave it open for hours and hours and hours at a time without signing out and signing back in. Sometimes it doesn't actually save when you do that. And so you really have to save it and preview. So what we're gonna do next, I'm gonna hit clone funnel step. Select location. This is if you have access to multiple accounts. It's gonna ask you where you, what account you wanna put it in. But for most of you, you only have one account. So just know that. So we're gonna go ahead and clone step in this funnel. We're gonna choose that option. Now it's here and we're gonna go ahead and hit thank you. Thank you, please check your email. And we can actually get rid of this altogether. We can get rid of this whole thing right here and we can add a column. And at here you can say, check me out on Instagram, join the Facebook group, like whatever, whatever things you want to say right here is fine. But notice that everything is saved. So it's super easy. Thank you page has taken two seconds. Looks fine. You do, however, want to go in, make sure you update the SEO metadata, all that kind of stuff. We have gone through opt-in. Thank you. We have styled the funnel. We have mobile optimized the funnel. We have installed the opt-in. We have customized the SEO. Okay. We have a couple things left to do. We are going to make sure that all the settings are correct. Okay. So come over here to the main settings. All right. We want to make sure the name, we want to make sure we like what this is, the path. You want to select the domain for the funnel, okay, which you should have done. Here's where you can add a favicon. Now a favicon, you have to actually upload one to like Google or Dropbox or someplace like that. And then you can put the link right here. And the favicon is this little thing right here. And it's an image that's 32 by 32. All right, so we're going to hit save. And the last thing you wanna do is just check here and make sure that these are exactly what you want them to say. In this case, I want this to say, thank you, page, and I'm going to type launch calendar thank you update step and we have gotten all the way through here lastly if you're going to be running any traffic to this you want to make sure that you have installed the pixel in the head tracking code you can also install individual conversion events and things like that inside tracking code right here and any sort of custom CSS in the page can go right here. So there you go. Not too crazy, not too hard to do. And the really cool thing is that you can reuse this lead magnet funnel over and over for different types of lead magnets you have. You have kind of the system built and you can just duplicate out this funnel, put in another lead magnet on the end of it, and you have several ways to get people on to your list. Before you go, I want to make sure you know that there is a part two to this video where you can actually follow up with the contacts that you have received from this lead magnet form. Make sure that you check out the next video coming up about how to create automations from your lead funnel in FG Funnels. And if you've never heard of FG Funnels, you are in for a treat. FG Funnels is an amazing software program that will allow you to capture leads, sell your programs. It actually houses, has a membership area. There's a whole CRM pipelines, too many things for me to tell you. So go ahead and check that out at fgfunnels.com and you can get your lead magnet up in no time.